Good afternoon, I'm Blaine Sparing and welcome to Pavilions. Today we have BBL Round 10 coverage of Plymouth Raiders versus Surrey Scorchers on LiveBasketball.tv. A win against top of the table Newcastle Eagles would have put Plymouth in high spirits coming into their double header this weekend, but a 97-90 loss against Worcester Wolves on Friday night certainly would have brought them back down to earth. Surrey travelled to Plymouth today after losing away at Worcester last week 76-61 and will be looking to bounce back on their travels today. I'm joined by Raiders coach Ben Fox today and Ben, these are two teams that sit near the middle of the, of the BBL table as it stands. Can we expect a close encounter today? I think it's going to be a really close game. I think both teams are really evenly matched. I think they've both struggled a bit at the start of the season. You know, Raiders had a lot of chops and changes. Sorry, have made some changes. So I think it's going to be a really good game. And Plymouth, they defeated Newcastle Eagles here last week to make a real statement. And how important is it that they keep their home form up throughout the season? I think it's hugely important, especially being the fact that Newcastle only lost to Cheshire in the Cup, I believe. So I think playing in front of the home fans really gives you a boost and it can really help on the road as well, I think. And sorry, they've had a long, uh, long journey here today. Do you think this could affect them? Um, I don't think it will affect Surrey, to be honest. I think Surrey are a good team. They've got quite good fitness levels. I think... Even though they have travelled, I think they'll be up for the game. You know, it's a must-win for both teams. I think, you know, so I think it's. I don't think it's going to affect Surrey too much. Um, Plymouth, uh, they played on Worcester on Friday night. Um, how much does it take out of you playing two games in a weekend, especially since Surrey only uh, only have the one game this weekend? I think it. I think the Raiders might be a little bit tired, but having said that, I think you know they are a fit team. They get out and run really well, and I think. That I think they should be okay, to be honest. I don't think it's going to be a huge factor for them. And these teams, they both look evenly matched on paper. Uh, how important is a quick start for both the teams? I think a quick start for both teams is, is very important. I think if, if the Raiders can get out in front, move the ball in transition, you know, and do what they can do, I think they'll be fine. And sorry, sorry, I've just got to be sorry, I think, if they've got a chance of winning. And uh, these teams, um, they've got big players on either team. Uh, who do you see as being the standout? I think for me, uh, for the Raiders, you've got to say Rochford and Watson. I think they're both two hugely instrumental players, and when they play well for the Raiders, the Raiders are a much better team. For Surrey, a, I think a big impact has been the, in, the new introduction of Jordan Williams. You know, he's a GB player. He's coming off. He's coming off the bench tonight. He's, you know, he's only played for him in five games, but he's leading them with 7.2 in rebounds. So I think Jordan Williams is going to be a huge factor tonight. But Surrey have many great players, Ogadengbi, Robinson, Awumi. If these guys get going for them, I think it, it's going to cause the Raiders a big problem. The Raiders have to have a big defensive night tonight, I think. Both teams just coming out onto the court now. Surrey Scorchers in light blue, Plymouth all in green. These two great coaches as well tonight, Blaine. So it's going to be great to see them both tactically and what they can do, I think. Graham Ratopoulos, the, uh, the Surrey coach, certainly been around the block. Yeah, he's, he's been around the league for a while now. Gavin's obviously played in the league and coached in the league before, so two very experienced coaches in the BBL. Now the game starts. Coming up with the first possession of the game of Lou Sayers. Now Watson into Brandon Penn. Looking for an option and finds Rochford. It's a good move by the Raiders. Watson, Sayers in the corner. That's a great start. That, I feel that that's a really important start for the Raiders to get, especially for Sayers to hit the three. That's very crucial. Classic Teo. Classic Raiders have to defend Teo well tonight because if he gets going, he is going to cause the Raiders problems. Well, Mateo can then be there with the first two points of the game for Surrey. Watson to Rochford. Watson finds himself open. Good patience by the Raiders. That's great basketball. Watch it with the throw down. Great basketball by the Raiders there. And there's Neil Watson. He's obviously le he's in the top three for assists in the league, I believe. He's averaging 7.6 assists a game. Neil Watson, a big part of him this season. Watch for to say it's in the corner again. Can go two from two. Ooh. Bounces away. Awumi. It's a Desport. That is a great pass by Alex Awumi. Alex Awumi is a great player. He's taken a different role at Surrey this year, but he's a very, very good player. Hicks facing up Watson. Hicks is a great new point guard in the league. He's made a really good impression so far. Had a 
Adekoya goes for three. It's unlucky there. In and out for Adekoya. He played so well against Newcastle in his debut for Plymouth. It's Robinson. That's probably the offensive rebound. It's a great offensive board. Still can't make it. Plymouth come away with it. It's with Brandon Penn. Goes into the paint. Brandon's so long. He's so good at getting out in transition and really, his steps, his stride length is unbelievable. He's a great player on the wing for the Raiders. Great it's pass. Desport. That's a great move. Desport. The good thing about that then for him was he was very patient, got Rochford in the air mm -hmm. and drew the foul. I think if Surrey are going to look to attack Rochford early because if he's a massive part of the Raiders. So. Rochford will be giving away the first foul. He's averaging just over 4.7 fouls a game. And Plymouth themselves have four people in the top ten for uh, fouls this season. So they want to cut that out today. I think they will. I think... In some situations, I think the fact they foul is good because it does stop easy scores every now and then, but they do get a lot of reaching in fouls as well, so I do feel like they need to cut that out in this game because Surrey will take advantage of it. Yes, Paul misses both his three throws. Not a good start for him, but Surrey keep possession of the ball. It's Taylor out in the corner. Oh, it's a good move. There you go, now Penn gives it to Desport, brings it in well. Have to go for the shot now with Awumi. Even though Rumi missed that one, you have to get out to him because he if he gets going, he will cause problems. And a Goya. Great pass. The pain of Rochford. Oh, that's unlucky there by Rochford. He just needs to be a bit softer with the touch there. Penn couldn't keep it in after intercepting from Teo. Brandon's a very long player, so getting his hands in the lane like that, that's great for the Raiders. Hicks. Great rebound by Penn. And a call to Rochford. Penn, and Penn is averaging 8.44 rebounds per game for the Raiders, and that's huge for them. Foul called against. The Scorchers. Well, Neil Watson, so he'll get two shots from the line. It's a great take by Neil there. Neil does a great job getting to the ring when he can. He's really selective when he does it. So. Watson makes the first. Neil shooting an impressive 86% from the free throw line this year, which is outstanding. Makes a second. Good start by the Raiders. Good start. Philip up by four. They're on eight. Sorry. Nine. Sorry. <laughs> sorry on the four. Sorry, getting into the set here. Great part. Oh, that's a great call by the referee there. I think the referees are going to have a major impact on this game today because both teams are so e equally matched that I think. Foul, calls like that and foul are, are really going to help with this game. Bit of full court pressure from Surrey. So it is to Adekoya. Watson collects it. It's Rochford to Sayers with a bit of room, so we'll go for the shot. Makes the three. Sayers has been, I, I feel like he's been struggling for confidence of reason, but last night, you know, on Friday night in Surrey, he went four or six on the three-point line. He's, he's hit two shots so far, so that's that's massive for Sayers and the Raiders. If he can get going in this game, that's a major factor. And Sayers are two early threes. Plymouth up by eight. So far, an early timeout call. What will both coaches be saying to uh, their team? I think Creon's going to be saying, you know, you have to get out to the shooters, and they've got to slow the Raiders down in transition. The Raiders this year have been outstanding in transition, I feel, at times. They select when to go well. I think Coach Love is going to be saying, keep doing what you're doing. I feel like on the board, the Raiders aren't being as strong as they normally are. I'd like to see the Raiders get maybe a few more rebounds than they are. Desport's having, you know, he's had some quite early success getting a few easy rebounds. So I think it's going to be more positive for the Raiders than the, the Scorchers. And Rochford, a big player in terms of rebounds in the league this season. He's been a real star since coming to the Raiders. 
Yeah, I think Kidu's been outstanding for us, really. He's a rebounded the ball exceptionally. He's, you know, he's a real anchor. His, his defense, you know, he's averaging two blocks per game, you know. For someone his size, that's that's big. And I think around the basket, Kinu causes so many problems because he's so physically big. And he's skillful as well. I think he's going to be massive tonight. Both teams going back out onto the court now. Uh, one more thing about Rochford, though. I don't think he gets enough credit for his passing. For a big man, his passing skills are fantastic. Scored as we start the game. It's with Hicks. Bit of full court pressure from Neil there on Hicks. Over to Robinson. Trying to use his strength, but it only lost the ball to Adekoya. That's good defense by Brandon there. Being smart. Giving him some space while he's trying to be back down. Rochford. Watson Great finds pass. Rochford again. Great pass by Neil Watson. He is one of the best passers in the league. He's that was great offense by the Raiders there. Good aggressive take there. Desport. Great Robinson. offensive rebound by Robinson. I feel like they have to sorry have to crash the boards today. They've had success with it so far, and they, they've get into the free throw line from it. They're causing the causing the Raiders a few problems on the inside. I'm sure Sarah would have done their homework about the uh, Raiders giving away so many fouls. And oh, 100%. We'll go into the paint as much as they can, try 100%. and drive. The thing that the Raiders do have to worry about as well, though, is not collapsing too much into the paint because Sorry have shooters as well, you know, who are going to cause them problems if they get going. Robinson makes the first free throw. Oh, now and never the light going in. So one from two. Gerald Robinson shooting 77% from the free throw line. This is what I'm, see that's what I'm talking about. Even though Adekoya missed there, the, s the score just have to get out to the Raiders on transition because Watson is the sort of guy, he will pick guys running out early, so the Scorchers have to get back on defense. Farrell Palmer coming into the game now for Robinson. And Adekoya will get two shots from the free throw line. Adekoy has been a great pickup for the Raiders. He's started off both games. He's been fantastic. Against the Newcastle Eagles, he was an influential player for me. It was a big reason, big part of the success that game. And he makes both his three throws there. So coming into a 11-point lead early in quarter one. Just over five minutes to go in the first quarter. Williams to Awumi. To Teo. The Raiders are really forcing the Scorchers down into one side of the floor. That was good defense there. If you notice the way that Adekoya and Sayers were pointing the Surrey players towards the sidelines, that's great defense there by the Raiders. Adekoya will restart the game. Watson finds up some room. Gives it to Penn. By Palmer goes to the paint. Lovely shot from Brandon great Penn. Move. Great move by Brandon Penn there. I'm surprised Watson didn't take a little shot from the key there, but that was a great play by the Raiders. The Scorchers look hesitant. They look. They haven't found their groove yet. I'm sure they will, but that's a great pass by Teo. Teo Jordan Teo. Williams, big impact. He's a great young player for the Scorchers. Big signing as well, I feel. Watson faced up by Hicks. Now in the corner with two on him. Great pass to Sayers. Now to Adekoya. Just oh. bounced in and out. Another great pass there from uh, Neil Watson. Smart play by the Scorchers there. Uh, that's a questionable pass from Awumi <laughs> there. And Watson comes away with it again. Shot from deep. Watson's the sort of player that can hit that shot though, so they did a great job defending him there. Awumi making most of the mitts match. Can the Scorchers find him though? Teo. Take on the shot. 
Again, sorry. Here come the Raiders on the break. Sorry, struggling to find the points early on. Adekoya. Good patience from Sayers there. That's a great move. Boy, driving. There's Rochford on the boards. Kinu Rochford. Big word from Kinu Rochford. Kinu, Ro hoop. Kinu Rochford is averaging 10, 10 rebounds a game. And he's averaging three offensive rebounds a game. That's big for the Raiders. If you can get offensive rebounds, it's great. Can you watch the league leader with uh, rebounds per game of 10.8? That's great play by the Raiders. Again, he's in the ball. He's looking for contact there, but he needs to just go straight up, I feel. It was a great move, though. There's a wee move. Well, we could have made that one. Brandon Penman. Collects the ball. Into Watson, he'll go for the early shots. Fantastic Neil from Neil Watson. Watson. That's the shot Neil can make though. He's shooting 44% from the three point line. He's very good at picking and choosing when he shoots, Neil. It's, he's a great point guy. I feel like he's a massive pickup for the Raiders this season. Oh, bowls out to Teo, lovely work from them. That's vintage Teo and Gadenkby there. Is it? That's his shot. The Raiders have to get out and defend that. Teo's second leading scorer for the Scorchers of the season, averaging 14.2 a game. Penn. That one didn't drop for him. Here's Hicks pushing the ball. And Teo. Great part. Oh, great stand by Neil Watson. That's plays like that that make the difference in games. Plays like that, players putting their bodies on the line. That's great leadership there by Neil Watson. Kenya Rodger coming off. Zach Wells making his way on his first action of the game. Zach's a great player. And here for the Scorchers, we've got a great young talent coming on in Josh Steele. He's uh, someone who I'm personally looking forward to seeing tonight, seeing what he can do. He's a very talented young man. He was over in the States for, I believe, a year. And uh, he's come back to play professional basketball. And he's, for me, he's been great for the Scorchers. Says to Watson, Raptopoulos. Also coming on. The Scorchers were sat in a 2 3 zone there. There's Raftopoulos with plenty of time. It's a great mate by Kalen Raftopoulos. Coach Nick Creon Raftopoulos' son, he's a great player. Played for the Worcester Wolves a few seasons ago. They're sat in a 3 2 zone, the Scorchers. This is something we haven't seen in the BBL this year. It's cool. Adequoy driving in. Great offensive ball by Brandon Penn. And picks it up and makes a difference again. And it's those points from under the hoop. They're really going to make the difference in this game. I, I totally agree with you. I think offensive rebounding is going to be huge in this game. Both teams so far have crashed the offensive boards. That's a great move by, by Williams. That's a great take by Jordan Williams. Very controlled. Poised. Wells. Oh. Wells had his hands up. They've called it on. Oh, bit of confusion here with the with the call. I must say, my eyes didn't look. I didn't think it was a foul, but I. It was a difficult one, I think, because because Wells was on the move at the time, so it was one of those tough ones, really. But Nick Tom sick into the game for the Raiders. Lou says having to sit down. The ball into Williams. Oh, that's a great away. hands by Adekoya, and here come the Raiders on the break. Watson to oh, Wells. Oh, unlucky there. The Raiders need to get back. Scorchers with it. The, there's Josh Steele getting out on the break. Josh is a, he's a great young player. He's someone who I've been very impressed with so far. How confident he is on court. Watson to Tomzik. Raiders are handling the press very well by Scorchers. Very well. Great cut by Adekoya to the middle of the zone there. Then to Tomzik. That's a Watson. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. So have to get something moving. Adekoya. That was a Tom Sick. will have to have a go. It's a flat shot there from Nick, but good ball movement by the Raiders there. They just need to look for a more open shot next time. Still up to Williams. See, it's fouls like that that the Raiders just don't need. They just need to play with their chest. And just the help line's going to be there for them, I think. So. Gets the ball in early. Palmer. Wells the rebound. Managed to gather it. Raiders slowing it down now. 
for the last shot of the game. One second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. So they don't need to rush anything here. Sorry, have gone into a two-three zone. Double pick come in. Rather than the Watson shot clock now, they want to make Thompson. it go. It's Tom Stick out to Watson from the buzzer. So one second difference. They had a quarter one, it's Plymouth 25, Surrey 17. Ben, your assessment of that first quarter? For me, I don't think it was what both teams potentially could do. I feel like it was scrappy in spots, but I think the Raiders will be happy with how they've got out in transition. I think the Scorchers zone was very effective at the end there. I think the, the Raiders are going to maybe look at that in the timeout. From the Scorchers' point of view, I think defensively, Sitting in that zone, they've kind of fixed a few of the issues they had at the start, but they've got to keep attacking the paint, I think. And when out on the perimeter, they've just got to shoot. Sh they've got great shooters on their team in Awumi, Ogadengbi. It's going to drop for them eventually. So I just think Surrey have to just keep trying to find their groove, and so do the Raiders. We saw a few early threes there, a few early points. Some from Neil Watson. He's, he looks quite bright in this first quarter. Yeah, Neil's production has been great in this first quarter, I think. I think because he doesn't necessarily always score as much as some of the other point guards in the league where you look at someone from the Eagles like Nimley, he doesn't get enough credit for his passing, I feel. Like, Neil ran the team in that first quarter exceptionally well, I thought. He you know, didn't really turn the ball over, which was key for the Raiders. I mean, the Raiders had few turnovers in that quarter. Neil played 38 minutes uh, against Worcester on Friday night, so... Do you potentially think Gavin Love will want to give him a little break at points in this game? I, I think he will. I, I'm not sure, to be honest. I think the way Neil's playing, Neil's controlling his speed and his energy really well. But if we have a look at the, the stats here, the Raiders have turned the ball over five times. And so have the Scorchers. So it's been quite even turnover-wise. But, you know, I think it's that turnovers are going to be a big factor in this game. Massive factor. From the three for eight from three point range. Sorry, two for eight. Is that three for a percentage there? Sorry, only one from four, Plymouth four from four. So that's three points. That's three points that they uh, yeah, sorry, missed Yeah, I one. think the, the Raiders are shooting the ball from the free throw line very well this year. They've got good free throw shooters. So I'm interested to see where this second quarter goes now. Sorry, I've got a different look team out there. The Raiders have obviously got Tom Sick and Wells in. So it'll be interesting to see. The Raiders are now that top of us. It's good defense. Great rebound by Wells there. There's Neil giving the ball up early. That's important. And Akoya. Watson. Great steal by Raf Topolis there. Getting his hands in the lane. Great job. Watson unable to make the pass to Raf to um, Tomsick rather. Williams. Look to drive. Good post up by it's a good pass back. Lovely Good pass in from so Scorchers and Adekoyo aggressively uh, taking the ball that away. Was, that was unlucky by the Scorchers there. That was great, great basketball. Adekoyo to Watson, to Wells. Good Wells. pass. The pass to Adekoyo. Watson, Penworth room in the corner. That's nice. great ball movement by the Penworth Raiders there. Great, great ball movement from Brandon Penn. Brandon Penn averaging... 18.8 .8 points per game. There's a big impact for the Raiders. Still on Palmer. Pretty deep shot from Palmer and bounced in and bounced out. I don't think Zach Wells gets an, you know, Zach Wells isn't necessarily a player who's going to do everything statistically, but he's a fantastic floor general for the Raiders. He's When he's ever he's out there, he leads the team well, I, I believe. And he's a big presence, you know, a seven man, footer. Seven foot. Big guy, he's a big presence in the paint for them. So hopefully I'd like to see the Raiders maybe go into Wells a bit more in this quarter. Just to get, you know, try and get him some early scores in this quarter early. Watson to Penn. So Watson, five seconds left on the shot clock. Have to make it go. Watson, good footwork. Alta Adekoya, have to make it go now. Adekoya. That's a great rebound by Wells. Wells picks it up. Nick Tomsick. He'll drive. It's a good take. That's unlucky there. Great hands by the Scorchers. Williams took it away from Tomsic. 
Steele comes back up. It's William. For such a young player, Josh Steele's confidence is it's fantastic. It's great to see a young British player so confident on the ball. Steele drives. The shot will come in. That's Levi Knowles. Unlucky by him there. Watson. Sorry, back in that 2 free zone. See what the Raiders can do from this. Penn comes into the middle of the zone. And a Koya to Watson. Watson will drive in. Tomsek has plenty of time out there. That's a great, that, do you know what? That's great zone offense by the Raiders there. Great, great offense. They limited the dribbles. That was the main thing. They passed the ball a lot more than they dribbled it there. And that's going to be key against their zone. It's a good kick out. Raptopoulos. Sur Surrey shots just aren't falling, but I feel like the Raiders still have to get out to them because they will start to drop. Great kick by Watson to Penn there. Penn into the paint. It's Jordan Williams on the boards again. They've got to box Jordan Williams out. Perhaps up to steal. Scott is looking to come back into the game. With the Williams. Great take. Bounce away and again, and Watson picks it up. Unlucky move there by Jordan Williams. Watson, Raptopoulos screened off by Wells. Tomzik, Adekoya, another plenty of time. That one doesn't drop. I think they're leading by 14 at the moment. I think the Raiders need to be a little bit more patient. That was a rushed offense there by them, I feel. Steals three won't go. So sorry, really struggling at the moment to get the uh, any shots going, and they haven't actually made any points so far in this in this quarter. I think that's that's big. It's going to be the second quarter. There's that great. Oh, oh, that's a oh. Not too sure about that there. The technical foul on Zach Wells. Yeah, I've got a feeling it was for the for the elbow. I'm not 100% sure if that's something that he deliberately did. I mean, it looked like he was clear in space, but you have to respect what the referees call. Um, fair play to Wells there for not, you know, for not arguing it, just for walking away. All got a little bit confusing. I think there was a timeout called, but no one was very yeah, sure. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I agree there. <laughs> it was very confusing. Even I'm confused now, to be honest. So Three and a half minutes into quarter two, and Raiders lead it six nil in quarter two. So yet to make any points. Surely that's going to change for them. Definitely, I think Surrey, Surrey are a very talented team, and I think they're going to get going at some point. Uh, I think the Raiders have to keep building on this lead, but they've got to watch out. The Scorchers are going to come back into this, I, I believe. You know, they're a good, strong team. They've had an up and down season, very much like the Raiders. You know, they've had some great results. They've had some. Results that maybe necessary they should have won, but for whatever reason they didn't. So it looks like he's brought brought back in Robinson and Awumi now, two veteran players in the league. So he may be looking to calm this game down a little bit. Both can score the basketball tremendously well. Awumi averaging 12 points solid a game, Robinson averaging 13, but they can both put up easily 20 points plus if they get going. The rough top of us will get two shots from the line. Right, he makes his first. Oh, is it just the one? Oh, bringing in Tony Hicks to get some control of the game. The Hicks will come in just one shot from the line. The rough top of us. It's a big team out there for Surrey now. Rochford back in for the Raiders as well as Sayers. Hicks into Williams. Keeney Rochard helping out well there. Penn's doing a great job stopping Robinson getting the ball in the post. And Williams. That's a great mature take from Jordan Williams there. It's a great use of his right hand being a left-handed player. Thompson faced up by Hicks. Great crossover by Brandon Penn. That's a fantastic move by Brandon Penn there. They're finding points pretty easy to come by at the moment. Yeah, I feel like the Surrey Scorchers, just, they're just not defending the paint very well at the moment. They need to figure that out. Great make by Hicks Hicks there. making the three. Great make. 
Sorry. Starting Tom's to get in his face as well. That was impressive by Tony Hicks. Sorry, starting to get some points on the board now. They're 10 away from Plymouth. Plymouth on 33, sorry, on 23. Rochford to Sayers. Ball got trapped under his feet. Sayers spinning. It's a good, that's a good. It's a great take from Sayers there. Getting to the basket, he's a good free throw shooter. Here we'll get a couple of goes on the line. Tomsic coming out for Adekoya now. Nick's obviously coming off being ill over the last week or two, so it's a good thing to have Nick back. I think he's, it's good to have him there for Neil as a bit of a backup. Sayers making his first shot. Nice soft touch from Lewis Sayers there. He's got a very nice shooting technique. And the second one goes down. Up to 35 points. This quarter has been very slow for both teams, I feel. Both teams have come out a little bit slower than I expected. That's a, that was a Adekoya. That's great defense. Getting in there, hitting it away, and Watson just giving it away too easily. Great hands by Noel there. Sorry, he'll come back up, Williams. Oh, I'm surprised Williams didn't just keep going there. Picks with time. The bounce out, Williams will pick it back up. Rochford did a great job to get out there. Another one that bounces in and out, and Rochford using his strength and gets in there for the rebound. Great outlet pass there by Rochford. Watson. Good kick. Loads of time again for Sayers. Lucky. The Scorchers are definitely playing a lot slower than I anticipated. Maybe the travel has affected them a little bit, but the patience is going to pay off, I think. Great move. Great move by Jordan Williams. That's a big, that's a big move. Second on Rochford. Williams went to two there, and he'll get a uh, go at the end one. You have a line in there to come back on, to come on, rather. Brandon and Penn will go for a rest. It looks like we've got Teo back on for the Scorchers. He's one I think they're going to have to watch out for. I think Teo's going to maybe look to take this over. Great made by Williams. Williams with the and one. Williams had a big impact on this game so far. Bit of full court pressure from the Scorchers. Rubber line him. To Rochford. That's a great pass. Hold it to Watson, out to Sayers. Quick movement from Plymouth, back into Watson. Can he find the shot? It's unlucky. Good move by the Raiders there. Here come the Scorchers. Awumi to Hicks. Back into Awumi. Hicks again. It's a silly pass from Hicks there. It's a bit Watson curly. Got in there well. You have a line in. It's a nice find to Adekoya. Adekoya Watson with time. That's a silly pass by Adekoya as well. Two sloppy turnovers by both teams there. Both teams turning the ball over. The timeout is called. But yeah, very slow, slow game. Seems to be passing both teams by at the moment. Even if they lead by seven, sorry, just trying to come back into it. But how do you G your team up? Both both teams don't seem like they want it as much as they maybe should. I I, I think both teams know the importance of, of this game. I feel like I was <laughs> maybe I was wrong at the start. Maybe tiredness is playing into this a bit. I'm not sure. I, d I think the Raiders are they're doing a great job. I mean, they're pushing the ball when they can. They're slowing it down, you know. And the Scorchers, I feel like the Scorchers have to pick up the pace a little bit, you know. Raiders have had a game on Friday night. You know, it was a tough game against the Wolves. Maybe the Scorchers need to try and push the ball a little bit more. See if they can catch the Raiders on the the back foot a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, the, the game has been a slower than I anticipated. I think maybe it's going to pick up in the third quarter, maybe. But both teams are s slow coming out of the timeout here. The coach is barking instructions to their team. I definitely think that the, the tactics of both coaches have played a, a big impact on this game. You know, Surrey's zone really slowed the Raiders down. 
it, it really impacted the momentum that the Raiders had going into the second quarter. And even at the start of the second quarter, I think it was a big reason the Raiders maybe started slower than they did in the first, was because sorry zone just slowed them down. Williams on Rochford, that's an interesting matchup. Rochford into Watson. The other line in the Estonian. Sayers to Rochford, back to Watson. He'll find some room and some time and make it worth three points shot for Plymouth. The Scorchers have to get out to that. I feel like it's they, they haven't guarded the three very well today, I don't feel, so far. Neil Watson, such a good three-point shooter. Yeah, he's Neil's been very good from the three-point line this season. He's shooting 44%, which is <laughs> pretty remarkable, to be honest, for someone in this league, you know, that's a great percentage to have. We're out to Teo. Vintage Teo on Gadengbi. I, I said it again, you know, that, that is Teo's shot. The ball straight out to Adekoya. Quick break from Plymouth on transition. That's what I'm talking about. The Raiders getting out in transition, getting easy scores. That's the difference between the two teams. The Scorchers, are, they're getting baskets that are harder. They're having to work harder to get the baskets. The Raiders are getting easy looks out on transition. It's a great move by Hicks there. Williams. Jordan Williams is having a massive impact on this game. There's the Raiders again getting out in transition. Says with another two. It's a great pass from Neil Watson. Surely Coach Rotopoulos is going to want to address that at half time. I, I think he's going to have to, to be honest. I think if, if he doesn't, it's going to it's going to be a long night for the Scorchers. They need to stop the break. Williams with an interesting pass. I feel like that was a forceful pass from Williams, though. Maybe it wasn't one that he necessarily needed to make. Robinson coming out. Says Paul coming in. Doesn't look too happy about that. Desport back in. He's going to be he's a good, solid rebounder, Desport. Says the other line. Watson faced up by Hicks. Finds some room again. And the other line with plenty of time. And the three points of Plymouth, and they're really starting to knock them down now, but sorry, just aren't getting out to Plymouth when they've got they're the They're uh, just three point not, chances. are they? they? They need to start defending the three point line because the. And and transition. For me, they are the two biggest factors in the game so far. The coil looks surprised by that one. Foul called against him. 1.34 left in. The Raiders have definitely picked it up so in, the, in these last three minutes. They, they really seem like they, they want it now. Good screens there by the Scorchers. A Wumi going to come off for pick. Five. Picked into a Wumi. The other line and another great defense. Great works. Ooh. The foul. Ooh. Against the other line. It's an interesting call there. Felt like that was pretty good defense, but. It's like we said at the start, though. It's these little fouls by the Raiders. They, they need to. They need to try and cut down on it. It's good that they're going out and being so aggressive on defense, but they, you know, oh, steal by Neil Watson. Watson. Coming in. Neil Watson does a great job of getting into the passing lane. He's, he's averaging 2.1 steals per game, which is the second most in the team, with Adekoya coming in at 2.5 a game. So Neil does a great job getting into the passing lane. There's Hicks. Oh, that's Hicks a fan. Williams. What a play by the Surrey Scorch. They need to do more of that. Two-handed put down from Williams there. Great basketball there. Both teams have played some very nice basketball tonight. Had a quiet. Oh. Williams. Well, that's a... Gets in front of him. And that's an interesting call there. I felt, I felt like Williams played some great defense there. Foul called against him, so Adekoya has got a couple of goes from the line, looking to extend I'm really the free throw run. I'm really impressed with this game so far. It's, it's what I expected. Both teams have been, I, I don't think the score is really reflecting it, but it's a good performance by the Raiders so far. They're gradually just getting better and better each game. It's, it's really starting to click at the minute for me. Adekoya looking to make. One of his two, and he does. Rochford coming out for Penn. For the last minute of the first half. Put up by 11. 
It's a great screen there by Jordan Williams. They need to communicate that Raiders. You know Hicks. Oh, that was a good take by Hicks there. They can't pick it's it back scrap. up. It's Desport. Great rebound by Desport. And again, Desport. That's great. Oh, that's a great offensive rebound in there. But go, going back to what I was going to say, I feel like the Raiders need to communicate those screens on Watson a lot more. It was something I noticed in the Newcastle game. Defoe was clattering Watson on the screens. They need to, for, for Watson's sake, really, just for getting over the screen, they really need to just start calling it for him, I think. Because he's getting caught on them, and it's, you know, they're going to make a use of that. Looks like Steele's coming in. That's maybe for the sh I think he's coming in for the shooter, Steele. Lacoya coming out as well, and as Tom Sick made his way back on. First one from Desport, and he knocks it down. Nice port by, nice job by Desport. Desport misses his second, and again, sorry, struggling from free throw territory today, but they're within 10 right now. 40 seconds left. In the first half, the other line in the time in the corner didn't opt to shoot, and now he will. But great defense by Desport there. Great defense. Powerful from Desport. Can sorry make the most of it. It's a Woomy. Hicks coming in. That's a classic example of good defense leads to great offense. That was a great take by Hicks there. Plymouth don't need to rush this now. They've got 18, 17, 16 seconds left. The Raiders need to hold on for the last shot here. We could be looking at getting a screen here, possibly from Penn. Here we go. Five seconds left in this. So I think it's shot. He makes space for the two. Tom going to shoot quickly. That'll be the end of the first half. The Raiders on 46, Scorchers on 38. Then your assessment of that first half. An interesting one, quite slow, but they to find themselves in the lead. I think, in for my, for my opinion, I think the Raiders were the better team that half. I think they, they got out in transition really well. They were knocking down shots when they were open. They were taking shots when they were open. Um, the Scorchers looked a bit dazed, to be honest. They looked like they were, they were struggling. They weren't guarding the three-point line. There were positives to them. I think they crashed the offensive boards really well. I mean, they've been lucky enough. I've, I think Rochard's on two personal fouls. You know, that's, that's big. But I think going into the second half, I think they have to push the tempo a bit more. You know, get get the Raiders out running. Take advantage of the fact that they have had a game Friday night. Because at the moment, it doesn't look like it's affecting the Raiders at all. They look like they want it. Well, a slow game so far, but plenty to look forward to in the second half. At half time, it's Raiders 46, Scorchers 38.
Hello and welcome back to LiveBasketball.tv. We have coverage of Plymouth Raiders versus the Surrey Scorchers. Plymouth currently hold an eight-point lead. I'm with Ben Fox. And Ben, we want to talk about the uh, three-point game so far. Yeah, so, so far, the Scorchers have only shot four of 18 from the three-point line, whereas the Raiders have shot seven from 16 now. It doesn't seem like a huge difference, but it's, you know, it's been the, the moments of the game that the Raiders have hit the shots compared to, sorry, you know, Watson, Tom's it, they've hit Sayers as well. They've hit some pretty important frees. It not crucial moments of the game, but important moments of the game that helped Raiders create the lead that they have now. Neil Watson, seven assists so far in the game. His transitional play off of uh, Surrey's attacks been really interesting to see, and uh, he's playing well today so far. Yeah, Neil's been for me. He's he's probably been the best the best player on the floor so far. He's I think he's controlled the tempo of the Raiders very well. He's pushed it when he can he slowed down when they needed to you know when we when we talk about point guards we often say about their assist to turnover ratio you know Watson's got seven assists two turnovers so that that's really good and you know, that's a five difference so I just think Neil needs to the Raiders need to keep doing what they're doing scorchers I think they've got they've got to get out in transition more and they've got to keep they've got to defend the paint as well Jordan Williams for the Surrey Scorchers. He's on 13 points so far. Have you been impressed with him in the first quarter? I was so really impressed time? with Jordan Williams. Uh, he's someone who I think is a major player for the Scorchers. He's been a great pickup for them. Obviously, he was there last season, and he's back again. So, yeah, this half of basketball is going to be interesting, I think. I think if the, the Raiders need to go out the same way they did, so... The game is Bruce Dyer. Pimmed up by eight. They're on 46, sorry, on 38, and it's... Random pen. To Neil Watson. Watson out to Yarbalainen. Who drives? He swatted away. Purple will keep possession. Scorchers have got to talk on defense. Yarbalainen got way. That was way too easy for Yarbalainen to get into the lane there. Watson restarts oh. the game. Thrown straight out of play. That's a s sloppy turnover from the Raiders there, but... How important is it that Surrey now make a statement early on in the second half? I think they have to because it will kill the Raiders' momentum that they've had in the first half. You know, the Raiders have come out again very up for it. Nice dribble move there by Robinson. Great, oh, that's a great move by Hicks. Hicks Good in. rebound by Yalvalainen. Yalvalainen picks it up. Watson comes away with it. Still looking for the first points of the second half. Sayers, Yalvalainen with a bit of room, it's Penn. Penn to Rochford, five seconds on the shot clock. So they'll have to make it go now. Watson out to Brandon Penn. The shot didn't go. Hicks comes away with it. Here come the Scorchers. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, Hicks slipped. It's a great move by Hicks, though. Let's put it to Hicks. Awumi for three. Oh, there's Alex Awumi. I believe that's his first three of the game. But for me, the, Ra the Raiders just didn't. Def they need to get out to Awumi. You know, even though he missed a few in the first half, it was going to drop for him. So it's a great take by Alex there. Good defense. Say as the other line in Watson. Watson. Great ball. Oh. Oh, Penn couldn't gather it. Plymouth, a danger of letting their lead slip here. Yeah, Scorched with another, with another possession. They've come out a little bit sloppy this first, the second half. So, and the Raiders have just got to get back focused and tail at top. Desport. Desport driving into Rochford. Good just defense. The floor. Watson, Yarvalina trying to speed it up. And the foul called there by referee Gavin Williams. Williams with the second foul of the game. Yarvalina for two chances from the line. First one doesn't go for him. Yeah, the line and shooting 86% from the free throw line of the season. 
Can't make either of his, those there. I think that was the commentator's curse there. It's a rare two misses there for him. Jonas. Hicks to Desport. Hicks has done a much better job in running the t running the offense this half so far. That's oh, that's an important play there for the Scorchers. I think that could be the third on Rochford. Kevin Love has a few words to say out of the picture. It's a big, big call there. The Scorchers have got to take advantage of this now. Hicks with a chance to put Surrey within three points of Plymouth. Lovely technique there from Tony Hicks. He throws his first one down. 72% from the free throw line this year. Two out of two there for Tony Hicks. Hicks two out of two. He's averaging 16.8 points per game. Hit a double-double in his last game. Tony Hicks, a bright player for the Scorchers. Rochford. Foul to the ground. A foul called Hicks, the second for him in the game. And Watson will restart the game from the back court. Watson to Yarbalino. Hands it to Penn, uh, to Sayers rather. And now it's Brandon Penn. Great kick there to Brandon Penn. And the ball taken away from him by Teo. The momentum's definitely with the Scorchers this half. They've definitely come out a lot stronger. We have yet to make points in the second half. And a timeout called by Gavin Love and his Raiders team. And what will he have to say to them now? Because they went into the uh, went into the break looking pretty confident. Eight I points up. I, I'll be honest. I, d I don't think Coach Love's going to be overly happy with that start to the second half. I think the Raiders were had some early turnovers and that have, has cost them. But you've got to give credit to the Scorchers. They've they've come out a lot better this second half. A lot more upbeat. They're pushing the ball, like we said, you know, that was a key that we said going into the second half as they're pushing the ball and they're, you know, they're taking their open shots, so. The sorry, Scorch and coach are top of us. What do you have to say to his team because they've come out firing in the second half and they look, look like they've got their confidence, they've got a bit of swagger about them. I think he's just going to say, keep doing what you're doing, stay composed, just keep up what you're doing, you know, take your shots when you've got them, but keep attacking the paint, you know. It's a big, it's a big, big, moment in the game that Rochford has picked up his third in the, this, the third quarter, you know, that could be big later on in the game, so I've got to give credit to the Scorchers here, they've really come out and improved this half, showing what they can do. For the 46, sorry, 43, 7.07 left in quarter three. Adekoya back into the game. Maybe straight on Awumi, who restarts the game. Number five, Hicks. Going out. Big the mate, shot. big mate from Gerald Robinson there. Gerald Robinson tying the game here at Pavilions. 46 each. Well, let's get some points on the board now. Watson driving, trying to speed it up. Brandon Penn. Brandon Penn came out. Fouled by Robinson. Third on Gerald Robinson. Obviously an ex Raiders player, so he's had well, an interesting welcome here. He's Rochford. Great oh, to Watson. It's great hands for Tony Hicks. Hicks here comes the ball Hicks. up the court. And the Woo to put them into the lead. The Scorchers. That is a, a perfect example of the two points we made going into the second half for the Scorchers. They pushed the ball in transition. And they took an open shot. Oh, that's two for Awumi now. The, the Raiders have to watch out for him now. There's Watson, can they come back at them now? Watson's shot didn't go, and Scorchers have a chance to come back. Lovely oh, play no. from Awumi. Good kick. Hicks and Robinson. 
Just ball under the hoop there. Um, Surrey will keep possession of the ball. Surrey just looks so much more like the Surrey Scorchers this half. You know, they're playing with good pace. They're shooting the shots when they can. You know, credit to the Scorchers. They really have come out. A, I think that was a steal from Penn there. Blocking the ball from coming in play by a Wumi. The Raiders are talking on defense, which is great to see. Great hands. Penn and Penn again gets in the way and says, comes up the court. Great take. Ooh. Oh, they called an offensive foul. Great stance by Teo, though. I, was, uh, I think that could have gone either way. Goes running around pavilions now. I don't think the home fans are happy with that at all. It's not all going Raiders' way at the moment. No, they've they've come out a lot slower than I expected them to. Coach Love is, does not look happy with that call at all. The home fans are very quiet as well. For surprising, they've been so loud this season. Yeah, they've they I. You know, the Raiders are lucky that they've got such a good home to support. There's Rochford on the boards again. Surrey have to try and box Rochford out because he, he's just going to have a field day against all Penn. Penn looks to turn. Rochford Great. back into Penn. Can he make oh, some points now? That is beautiful basketball by the Plymouth Raiders there. It's what I was saying earlier in the game. Rochford does not get enough credit for his passing skills. Great move by Penn cut to the basket. Rochford and Penn went to work. Sorry to look, can I come back at them now? Rochford trying Awumi's, to get in the way. Awumi's definitely shooting the ball more this quarter. It's uh, must be big for the ring. Williams coming back in for Desport. This will be interesting now. See what sort of impact John Williams can have in the game. And the cry out to Rochford. Watson speeding up. Oh, Lovely work for Plymouth Raiders. Yes, that's a great transition basketball by the Raiders. It's a big key for them. You know, it's something they've done so well this game. This Watson. is this is really starting to liven up this game. Great take by Tony Hicks. Hicks what a Sayers. play. I think Sayers may have thought that was a foul on him, but. Tony Hicks, that was great control there from Hicks. Good communication there by the Scorchers on the screen. Watson to Penn into Rochford. Rochford battling against Robinson. Robinson wins the battle. This game is really starting to liven up now. It's starting to become what more I expected it to be like. Robinson, and there's time in the corner. Teo Ungadengbi. I believe that's his third three pointer from the corner alone. Ra the Raiders have to get out to him. He's, he lives off that shot. It's Teo's shot, so. Here comes Sayers. Sayers for three. Boom, he replied. What a game we've got on our hands now. Both teams going at each other now, making three pointers. This, it seems as if they've just both woken up. The energy's there. It's flowing for them. The one point game. Sorry, in the lead at the moment. Great defense by Keanu Rochford. Here come the Raiders. Watson looking to speed it up. Into Brandon Penn. Oh, this is good basketball by both teams. It's make very it. entertaining. Transition from Surrey. Great pass. And Koya grabbing it. Oh, Hicks grabs it back. Tony Hicks is unlucky there. He's Tony Hicks has been the difference for me in this Scorchers team this second half. He's really leading by example. Really, really brought the energy. And we've got Nolan Palmer coming in. Tony Hicks going off for Home a fans picking up a bit now. Dylan Costello comes into the game. Dylan Costello been pretty under underrated this season, I'd say. He's been a big defensive player for the Raiders. Totally agree with you. I think he against the Newcastle Eagles, he was fantastic against the Newcastle Eagles. He was very good on Nimley. You know, Lim Nimley's one of the best point guards in the league, probably we've seen for a long time. And Dylan did a great job. Great kick by Rochford. Penn. It's a good take there. Good rebound by Ogadengbi. Teo driving all the way into the paint. It's clipped by Penn. See, it's little fouls like that, like we were saying at the start. The Raiders just need to cut out because it's, you know, it's, it's costing them later in games. Brandon Penn took two fouls with him today. He was up, both teams actually up to four. Good kick. For the quarter, the shot comes in. Rochford Great. again picking it up. Here come the Raiders. Well, 
force it to Penn. Quick shot from him. Three points made for Penn. Bring it back into the lead. This really is becoming a great game. Great for the fans watching here live at the pavilions and also for everyone watching on the stream. Good offense by the Scorchers there. Teo driving in. Finds his way out to the corner again. That shot never looked like it was going to go rebound. in. And Penn grabs it. Makes the ball his. Costello, Watson. Watson looking to slow it down maybe. Oh, good change of speed. Oh. Bounce the ball in. Hit some feet. I think Kinu wanted it. Rochford wanted it up high there. Steele coming on now. Oh, here Rumi. comes Josh. Josh Steele out for Awumi. Awumi getting a quick breathing possibly. Awumi, Awumi and Hicks were really, for me, the two big difference makers for Scorch is getting, getting going this half. Good pressure defense there by Steele. Watch Great first. kick. Great to Sayers. I, I was unlucky there for Louis Sayers. He's got to keep letting it fly though. He's, when he's on his day, he'll make them. So it's a great take for him. Taylor to Williams. Williams from space, barks him up some instructions. Teo. Teo has to go for the shot. Ooh. Bounces out, Penn again picking it up. The Scorchers definitely don't look as hesitant to shoot the three this this half. You know, they this quarter they've really come out and are really they're just playing aggressively, which is what they lacked in the third. They've gone back to that. Rochford. Oh, good take by Keanu Rochford there. Palmer looking to be aggressive against Rochford, but it can be hard when you're playing against such a big guy. Yeah, he's such a such a strong physical presence inside. I think it's it's important that they do play him physically. It looks like Kalen Raftopoulos is coming back in. Teo Ungadombi. Teo has been phenomenal in this game. He's really done his job well. He's played great defense. Shot the ball very well as well. Watchford at the for line a, for this a big first. for a big guy. Kinu shooting 86% for the free throw line, which is for a, a big man. It's a great percentage. Just missed his first one there, though. Can he atone with the second? Yeah. Yeah, he got does. it. Sayers applying a bit of full court pressure to Noel there. Costello Steel is going to be an interesting matchup. Two young guys. Topolis. Here oh. goes Williams. Going to go to work. Williams. Went to great Rochford. move by Jordan Williams. It's been a great addition to this game. A one point for oh, the lead so far. Good call by the referee Darren Bolt there. It was a definite. That was a a push off there by Keenan Rochford on the screen. That's a All big that This, this could be big. I have to go off for the minute. Oh. Bit, looks like we had a bit of confusion there. Watson staying out on the court for the moment. He can't make any more fouls now. Raftopoulos. Lovely shot from him. Money there for Kalen Raftopoulos. This game has really picked up. I'm really impressed with both teams. I think the Raiders, have, it's, it's so far, you know, they've got to go back to what they were doing in the first. I think the transition defense, though, by Surrey has been a lot better. That's pass from Sayers to Penn. To Watson. Breeze has passed. Oh, no, and Palmer came in. Oh, that's an interesting play. Oh, that looked. Oh, what are they, what have the refs called? Oh, the referees have called two. F oh, my. The referee has called a, a foul there. I think it was possibly for the landing because of the fact he actually landed on Watson. He wasn't in his, his defensive cylinder, Palmer. Had a great block, though, but it's a shame that it led to the foul. Watson makes the first. Is that what else coming in for Kenny Rochford as well? I what? think the Raiders have got to go inside to Wells now. Let's see. Let's see what the Raiders can do with Wells in. Wants to come at the second. One to come. They came in early. Ooh, interesting call there by Darren Bolt. He was in the perfect position to see it. So. So Watson will get a 
second chance, it's second shot. I think the referee in this game has been at a very good standard. I think the referee has been very good this game. They've kept control of it, which is which is good. You know, when you get a team, a game like these two, where they're in such similar positions in the table, you know, it can get quite heated, and the referees have done a great job in controlling that. Raftopoulos to no. All the Raiders sitting in a zone now. Raftopoulos again for the three. Sayers with a big board. Here come the Raiders pushing it. A bit more noise in the pavilions now. Here comes Watson. That is no. Neil Watson. That's a that's a great move by a great point guard. What a shot there from Neil Watson. This game is cool. really picked up. I'm I'm very impressed with both teams this game. Plymouth up to 61 points. The Scorch is on 59. Both teams now let's be going at each other more than they did, and do you reckon both te both coaches would have said at half time, speed it up. Let's go. Let's. Uh, I think. I think so. Definitely. I think. I think Creon would have definitely been. Let's push the pace a bit more. Let's get out in transition, and just keep taking your shots. You know, it's something we we've said at the start of the game that you know they, their shots going to drop eventually, and it has for them this quarter. You know, but. The Raiders, I think they've got to just keep doing what they've done at the end of the quarter there. They really started playing more like the Raiders, you know, pushing the ball well. Watson was doing a great job leading again. And uh, everyone for the Raiders just seems to be clicking. And it's, it's the same for the Scorchers. It's a joy to watch, really. So only two points in it. Raiders came into the second half with an eight-point advantage. Gavin Love's not going to be impressed with that at all, is he? I don't think he's going to be. I think Gavin was, you know, I think he was a bit gutted about Friday's loss, you know. I think that was a game that the Raiders could have ideally won. You know, you've just come off beating the exactly. Leeds Force. You know, you then beat the best team in the league, the Newcastle Eagles, and then you know to go to Worcester and you know it kind of they lost the momentum a bit. But it looks like they're they're still hungry to get this win, which is I think really important and it shows the character the Raiders have this year. Having said that, though, the Scorchers have shown great character as well, getting back into this game and ultimately changing the dynamics of it completely. Game okay, starts with Noel. Raiders playing in a 2-3 zone, which worked so well for the Scorchers at the end and the start, the end of the first quarter and the start of the second. Raiders have got to stay big in it though, they've got to keep their hands up. Wells there, big presence in the middle. Hands up all the time, it's great from Zach Wells. It's talking. Team captain Zach Wells. Great defense by the Plymouth Raiders there. Staying long, that's what you need to do in a zone. Stay long, stay big, talk, get out to shooters. Gavin Lovey praised Zach Wells in preseason, and that's why he made him captain. Such a vocal presence yeah, on the court. Yeah, Zach, Zach's been a great leader so far. You know, I think the good thing is with this team, we've got a lot of young guys for the Raiders. You know, Josh Well, Josh Steele. Quick three. Ooh. Oh, Williams good rebound. Underneath. There's Jordan Williams on the boards again, you know. Ties the game. Three seconds left to go. The call Jordan Williams, now. He's, he's averaging two points. Watson with the shot. Oh, unlucky effort there from Neil. You know, j going back to Josh, to Jordan Williams though, he's averaging 2.6 offensive rebounds a game. You know, he's done that a lot in this game. He's been a, a very good addition. Both teams level going in to the final quarter. And again, as we said at the start and at half time, whoever comes out quicker is going to really. Uh, Really take the game in this Oh, one. totally. I think for me, I'm I am very impressed with the Scorchers. I think the Scorchers have done. Uh, they've made amends for what they did in the first quarter. Really, they came out. They showed what they could do. They showed they wanted the game. And the Raiders, you know, started off the quarter slow. Near the end, there they really started to, you know, go back into their own. So, I think both teams have done a fantastic job, and they're really putting on a good show for what British basketball is, I think. We spoke about the transitional play, especially from Plymouth in the first half, how they were, every time Scorchers made a shot, they quickly transition and then make it to two points. Hasn't really happened so far for the uh, for Plymouth in the second no, half. No, I think, I think you, one, you have to credit the Scorchers for that. I think the Scorchers did such a good job of making sure that, you know, regardless whether we make it or they, they don't, they got back on defences. And it has made it tougher for the Raiders. You know, Watson had so many open passes where he just, kind of launched the ball full court and he had a wing guy on the end of it but sorry I've really taken that away from them. I've, I've got to give sorry credit here they've done a great job in this game getting back into it I've, I've been really impressed with them from the way the game started as well are you surprised that sorry managed to get the way back into it in all honesty I'm not 
to be honest, because I think Surrey are a talented team. You know, I've, I've just looked at the stats here. Jordan Williams with a big 17 points. He's leading all scorers, actually, other than Brandon Penn, who's got 18 for the Raiders with nine rebounds. Keeney Rochard on seven with six rebounds. Rochard's still out on the court. Watson for the Raiders has got 12 points with 10 assists. That's so a big double-double there. Here come the Raiders on our transition. Watson. Unlucky, Adekoye. Adekoye. Great job by the Plymouth Raiders. Good way to stick at it there by Adekoye. Adekoye's two points will count and he'll get a chance from the line for the M1. This is a big quarter of basket. Well, both teams could do with this win. Adekoye yeah. makes a three point play for Plymouth. Good job. By the Raiders there. Puts the Tony Hicks back side. on. Tony Hicks currently sitting on nine, nine points with four assists. Good job by Hicks. The Raiders still in that zone. Oh, great play by the Williams. Sorry, Scorchers with great play there. Here come the Raiders though. Another two-handed throw down for Williams. Williams has been a he's been huge for the Scorchers. Good movement by the Raiders here. Sayers to Penn. That's where Coyer picks it up. Oh, good he job to sell that by Adekoya there. He was fouled by Levi Noel. I think this game's a really good advert for basketball in this country. I think both teams are showing, because there's a lot of young, talented British players in this game. You know, you've got the likes of Zach Wells, Jordan Williams, Josh Steele. Costello. Costello, you know, you've got great British players who... Watson sets it up. You know, I think it's showing it's not just about the import players, you know. Louis Sayers is another one, you know. They've all contributed big to this game. Now to Palmer for two. Oh, one, thi way in. one thing I think the Scorchers have done amazingly well is have someone sit in the middle of that great Oh, play. look at that. Watson into Adekoya. Great basketball. Picked it up. I think the Scorchers have done a great job against this zone. If you watch here, they're setting up against his zone offense. They've got someone constantly around the high post area there, Palmer. Palmer to Williams. Great, that's, that's just great offense by the Scorchers there. It's a great, great offense. But here's that transition by the Raiders again. Great catch well by Brandon up. Penn. Did great to pick that up. Wells to Watson. Watson with time. This three won't go, and Plymouth don't pick it back up. Neil's definitely taking more volumes of shots in this core. I think he's definitely t trying to get a bit of control. There's Palmer. They see they've guarded it now. That's see that is fun. That is great there. defense. Watson picking it up. Adequoya is great defense. Uh, you know they covered the high post that time. Brandon Penn from the corner. Oh, unlucky there. With Brandon Penn starting to miss some of these threes, and they're going to be wary. It's getting a very up and down now. Palmer. His three won't go. So both teams quite cold from three-point territory at the moment. Watson straight back up to Adequoya. Just slow down slightly for the moment. Wells to Penn. Goes past Williams. Oh, good stand. Got stood up and came off of Palmer, went out of play for a Raiders ball. I have a... Oh, the referee, Gavin Williams, has just warned the Scorchers for flopping, which I know is something that FIBA is uh, really clamping down on this year, is uh, flopping when taking charges. So that's good, refer great officiating from the referees there. Here come the Raiders. Also, he starts the game, Sayers into the corner quickly. Uh, flat shot there from Louis Sayers, but he's, he's taking them, which is, is a great sign for the Raiders. You know, he's not hesitating on the shot. He's just, he's letting them fly, so. Still no time. Another three goes quick. Cool. See, there's jo by. Jordan Williams on the board again. Josh Steele, good job by Adekoya staying in front. And it's found its way back to no. Found Steele for three. Another one doesn't go. Oh. Penn came in. And can't, can't quite see from here. Yeah, I was I'm not quite sure what's going on. I've got a feeling they've called it. The I've got a feeling they've just called it to the Scorchers. Good job just keeping it in there, though. Picks. Palmer driving in. Oh, nice move. Great move by Daryl Palmer there. 
Nice use of the floater against that Wells. It's a perfect shot for her to go over a big guy like Wells. Penn going to work. Penn into Good Wells. Good by Wells, but it's unable to feel it. Scorched the chance to go further into the lead, and Akoya. Adekoya rejected. That was a good good foul there by Adekoya. Stopped them getting the easy two. It, it's, it does sound weird to say that, you know, oh, a foul's a good, you know, good choice. But, you know, in that situation there, Adekoya was right to foul. You know, it stopped them getting an easy two points and he's making them earn it from the line here. Another timeout called. And the score at 66, sorry, on 69. Sorry, into the lead. Something you might not have expected early on in this game, but so really have come back into it. Yeah, sorry, have done such a good job, really getting back into this game, and just they've worked hard. You know, they the areas that are we felt they needed to improve on. They've gone. They've obviously Creon's addressed it at halftime, and they've they've obviously listened well, and they're feeding off him really well. Both coaches are very passionate. You know, just looking down now, seeing them both in their, their timeouts, there you can see the passion and the. They're, you know, letting their teams know what they want them to do. I think Plymouth are missing Keno Rochard in this uh, final quarter. Obviously I, th I think they are. Out. I think they are. I think they're missing Keno's offensive power, and his and it's just his defense as well. He, he is a massive player that's being missed so far. But you know, I I would say around the four minute mark we might see Rochford again. That that would be my. You yeah, know, I do it. Yeah, that was that would kind of be. Oh, I've been, I was completely wrong. Oh, Rock, there you go. <laughs> Rochford has entered straight back into the game. <laughs> there you go. You know, oh, but credit Zach Wells. He did a great job being in there then. Zach Wells, he's yet to nail down a starting place with Rochford's form. Yeah, it's, you know, I think the thing with Rochford, the, di the massive difference with them is the fact Keenu's going to go and get you 20 and 12 in a game. You know, Zach's a... Uh, you know, he's he's a more of a leader. You know, they all lead to be fair. You know, but Zach's really a great just leader on the court, and he's good to have on the bench. You know, to come on and inject some energy. Hicks making one from two there, puts Surrey into a four-point lead. So Reds will have to uh, capitalise. Raiders, Raiders need a score. Noel putting good pressure defense on Watson. Oh, we've got a foul being called on Jordan Williams, stopping the cut there by Adekoya in the lane. There's three fouls for the half. The Scorchers. Second on Jordan Williams, that's uh Who would be too worried about that? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think Creon's gonna be too worried. I think, I think for me, Williams, been the, he's been a huge difference in this game. Oh, Rochford. Rochford spinning, Rochford. That's, what, that's what Rochford does. Coming up to 68, two points in the game. Steel. Great ball movement there by the Scorch. Great oh. block by Keenan Rochford. Rochford again. That was just a fantastic defense. Kept his hands straight. Watson Watson's pushing. Watson rather. <laughs> Going up for another post up into oh. Rochford spinning. Oh, oh he's he down. Dunk, but he got the offensive board. He did it in fairness. Despite missing the dunk, he did recover and managed to get a 50-50 ball, which went the Raiders' way. So, even though he missed the dunk, all well the pavilions is really getting loud now. Watson to Sayers. Back to Rochford. Here Rochford comes. Back into Watson and Sayers. Good pass from Plymouth. Williams put his way in there and. Oh, I think Neil wanted Sayers to shoot that then. But that was, you know, that was good ball movement by the Raiders there. Ruff Topolis shouting orders from the sideline. Watson to Rochford. Oh. Watson and Pimmer will get the ball back <laughs> again. Third time. It's very. Very stop start so far. Creon is giving out some sort of orders from the sideline there. <laughs> Obviously, the Scorchers are listening because whatever they're doing is really being effective. He can put the ball into Rochford. Rochford spinning. Yarba line in. This is an important one for him. Sayers with a great offensive rebound. It's plays like that that you just, oh, Neil, oh. Had a call out to Watson, to Rochford. Looks great to kick. Sayers, the other liners. Good ball move. Four seconds left on the, the shot clock, have to get it going. Adekoya. 
And again, Sayers they can't again make it. Sayers comes in. Sayers the other line and out to Adekoya. Adekoya might have shot, thought better. Robert Williams oh. hit the ball out of play and it came off Adekoya. The Raiders needed a score there. I, I feel like they could have done with a score there. They, they look, there's a, looks like a little bit of frustration on the face of the Raiders players there. But they're gonna, they could do with getting a good big stop now. Five minutes left in this the final quarter. Big five minutes here for both teams. Hicks and the shot coming in. Yarbalani picks big it up. Big rebound. Here come the Raiders. Watts on the floor, General. Using the screen well. Wattsford. Good kick. Watts, Watson out to Sayers. The Raiders need to be a little bit more patient. Great take Ew. by Josh. Oh, oh, Palmer came in. Great rebound by Daryl Palmer there. Oh, the oh, big outlet game. pass by Watson. Oh, Rochford. That was a very unlucky pass there by Keanu Rochford. That's how you throw a good pass, you know. Coach Love doesn't look too happy with it, though. 4.28 left in the game. We're going to trail by four. Is that big? They put st still got that big guy. Williams. Watch. Oh, that's and a, silly, that's a came silly, in. silly foul by Yarvalainen there. Yarvalainen came in in the M1 chance for the Scorchers. Williams. Big rebound by Alvalainen. Yeah, Alvalainen picks up. Gives it to the guard. Watson speeding up. Watson out to Adekoya. I, I'm surprised Neil didn't just go up there. To be honest, he. Nick. Nick Thompson stripping off. Looks like he's coming back in. Steele with a good maturity there to kick it inside. Nice spin from Williams. Adekoya will pick it up and Rochford. Here come the Raiders. Rochford keeps. Raiders in possession. Watson. Watson, quick pass to Adekoya. Plymouth unable to make the shots at the I moment. I think the Raiders are going away from what they were doing in the first. The Raiders have gone away from what they were doing in the first first half. You know, the ball movement wasn't quite there. It has been at times, but the Scorch is doing, being smart, using the clock, taking long offenses. Picks to Williams. Nice. Nice take by Jordan Williams. Great. He's going to make it. Adekoya. Plymouth really needs to take advantage now. Adekoya. Pins it in. Have to make this one go. And Plymouth. An important basket there for the Plymouth Raiders. Two points on the ball for them. They go to within four of Surrey, who will look to slow the game down now. Three minutes left on the clock. Oh, I think Gavin Love has called Nick Thompson away on the bench there. So the sub isn't happening. Williams. Hicks to Williams, going to pick the ball up. They've got to make use of the ball now with Watson. Watson all the way. Good take by Neil Watson there. The fan, that's got the fans going. Going to win two now. This is getting exciting. Shot coming in. Big, big, big three. Big, big shot from Alex Awumi. Be a dagger in the hearts of Plymouth. We'll have to come back now. Just over two minutes left in the game. Watson bringing the ball up. Watson, Yarbalan, and this has to go for Plymouth. In and out. Oh, sorry, come with Hicks. Still. That, that could have been go. a big, big play there. Rochford picks it up. Plymouth have to get some points on the board now. It's Neil Watson. To Adekoya. Adekoya will drive. He's fouled. Brandon Penn coming back on now. So, just tail off Brandon Penn coming back in. I'll be, I'll be completely honest. I'm surprised we've seen Brandon Penn come in. Oh, they've taken Jordan Williams off as well. That's an interesting sub by the Scorchers there. Penn has made plenty of points in this game. Yeah, Brandon's been 
very strong for the Raiders. He's actually leading the, leading the score with 18. So they may look to go more towards Brandon Penn. It's a good pass there by Neil Watson. Going to Roch, but they've got time on the shot clock. They can go back out. It's Penn. 10 on the shot clock now. Penn will have to make that go. He can't. They're running out of time. 1.30 left in the game. Sorry, up by five. Hicks. Hicks put footwork on him. Looking to, to just let the shot clock go down. Now oh, we've got an up. offensive foul. That is a big, big call by referee Gavin Williams there. I feel like they've been so accurate on the screen calls, though, you know, calling legal and illegal screens. That I really am impressed with the referee in this game. It's been fantastic. Sorry, scorches are up to five fouls, so each foul now will mean Plymouth will go to the line. They've got to attack the basket. The Raiders have to attack the basket now. 110 left in this game. There's Watson. Good kick. Brandon Penn. And Penn almost lost it. Gave it to Rochford. Oh, big take by Keeney Rochford there. For me, they've got to kick the ball inside to him now. Play through Rochford. Get it into him in the post. Oh, we've got someone fouling out. Oh, this is big. Oh, Gerald Robinson. That's a big body for them. Gone. Robinson fouled out. Williams will come in. I don't think Gerald Robinson's going to be too happy with that. No two left in the game. Watch for two important throws for him right now. They need two mates. First one goes. They need this to go in now. They need to get a stop. This will be down to game management now for both teams. Can't make them both go. And the thing the, Raid, the Raiders have fouls to give. This is the thing. Four point game on our hands. Williams Penn tried to take it off of him. Hicks coming in now. Big Great work from Hicks. By Tony Hicks. They'll have to speed it up. Watson. Watson to Rochford. Back to Watson. Back Great to Rochford. Kick. Lovely work from them. Great Rochford put the two down. There by the Plymouth Raiders. Good two on two basketball. Here come the Raiders. The traps come in. Good up to 75. They don't need a foul from Rochford here. And Williams two handed put down. There's not a lot Rochford could do there. It's, you either risk getting him fouling out. Ah, six point game here for the Raiders. It's going to be tough for them to come back. They've called the timeout. What can they do from the timeout? The ball, well, the ball is obviously going to be advanced into their own quarter, so their own half of the court. So they may look for the quick three. They may go inside and take advantage of the fact that the Scorchers have fouls to give. Well, they don't have any fouls to give, sorry, but the Raiders do. You know, the Raiders have got three fouls to give, so it wouldn't surprise me if they get a quick foul on the defensive end. Sorry, all they need is possession now, and they can just uh, slow the game down somewhat. I think the Scorchers will use the clock if, you know, they, they're going to have to. But the Raiders are going to need some magic here from Watford, Rochford, Penn, players like that, you know, to get them back in this game. It's a six-point game. It's going to be a big 30 seconds. Only 30 seconds left in the game. Plymouth on 75. Surrey on 81. Plymouth won't be happy. Eight points up going Not into uh, half time. Not at all. I think with the how dominant the Raiders were in the first half, I think they're going to be really unhappy with this. I've maybe tiredness has kicked in a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to tell because they played at such a high pace throughout the game. So... side court. It wouldn't surprise me if they set some sort of pick, double pick now for both the guards. Here they go. And the close of Watson, they've got to speed this up. Watson up to Penn. This has go to go for Brandon three. Penn. There's a C. Good that's a, it's a good foul to give there. Brandon, Brandon Penn giving away his third Ooh. foul. Oh, this is interesting now. They've brought back in Alex Uwimi, so they've really got no bigs on. They've essentially got five guards on the court now to help bring the ball up because the Raiders are going to press. 
Oh, Teo. Oh, oh, big steal by the Raiders. And picked up, and it's Watson. Oh, Bit. he could have made that one. Pennon under the hoop. That could be a controversial play there. Should that have been a foul on Watson? We don't know. Is Thanks the foul going to pull up? Yep, yeah, the foul happened there. Oh, I'd have caught. Oh. That was Penn fouling, and there's two players down. Oh, I don't really know what happened there. I didn't really. We missed that one. Man down on the court at the moment for the scorchers. I'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure if that on Neil was a foul. I mean, he was. I think it was quite clear he was he was looking for the contact there. So maybe that's why the referees didn't call it. But that that could be a massive, massive play in this game. 11 seconds left. I'm a little bit confused why the Raiders, why the Scorchers are going to the free throw line. Because they're only on 14 fouls. So I'm a little bit confused by this. Picks. Makes the first one. Could have a timeout for Coach Love if he makes this. Uh, Hicks makes them both. Oh, the sub. Williams back in for a Wumi. The Scorchers are going to press. This is smart game management by Creon Raftopoulos here. Pressure in the ball. They're going to go for the long pa pass. They get it in. The Raiders have got to hurry. Ten seconds left. Adekoya have to go for three. Adekoya. Big Excellent. make. Three point game. Watch three seconds. That. They foul. Watch for fouls. They'll be fouled out now. That was a huge make by Adekoya there. Th this could be interesting now. This could be interesting because if Coach Love has a timeout, they have three seconds. I if he makes these, they potentially. Oh, Eddie Matthews has come on. They're gonna look. I think they're gonna look for the long pass to Matthews. Possibly, it's a good substitution by Coach Love there. He's got a hope. Clutch First shot goes down. Clutch shot by Tony Hicks there. That could be the game there for Surrey. Like this could be the game. You're very right there. I think Hicks that's pretty the much gonna be the game. Uh, Watson with the shots. Gonna make it go and sorry on their travels. They picked up a win here at Pavilions. It's a good important win for the Surrey Scorchers there. What's your assessment of the game, Ben? I it was very much a game of two halves. I think the Raiders dominated the first half. I think the way they played, they played some awesome team basketball. They moved the ball well, they they the defense was fantastic. Second half, it was all about the Scorchers. They were fantastic. The way they came back into the game. I felt like they really addressed the issues that you know they needed to address at halftime, and they deserve. I, I have to admit, the Scorchers deserve the win in this game. You have to, you have to give credit to Crown Raftopoulos, the uh, great coach. coach. I feel, I felt like he did such a good job. His his game management was fantastic. Um, sorry, I've got to get a run together now. Sort of bring your attention to the British Basketball League and some pictures coming up in the. On Friday the 8th, the Leeds Force take on the Manchester Giants. The Leicester Riders host the London Lions in the BBL Cup on Friday. It was Worcester Wolves against the Sheffield Sharks. And on, in the trophy, the Newcastle Eagles versus the Surrey Scorchers. The Leicester Riders London Lions game is going to be an interesting game. It's going to be a real interesting game. Two big teams. But thank you very much for being here, Ben. Thank you for having me. Our pavilions at full time. It's Plymouth 80, Surrey 85.